those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a video for uh, a continuation of building the wing for the um, uh, Bristol FC. Okay, so it's a lady, camera lady. Right, see these off cuts now, okay. These are like made off of the... So you basically, to cut a long story short, you just you keep tracing around the original former red even, and then chop it off at the base there. And that way, as you'll see, we'll come to that. These are like the excerpts that you just slide in. Excuse my hands. You know, I mean, you, you can white glue them in, PVA them in, so they're in line. So obviously, this is set up now. So if we come here, this is basically because it's got a big a, a concave arch on the actual rib itself. We've got to pack these uh, spars out. So obviously, you just scrap bolster there. They just pack it out to the right height, like I show there, and, and that's ready to go. So if you can just get in the camera there, you can see how, it, how it's. They're packed out nice enough. And then the next stage is once you've got that all lined up nicely and true with the plan, you need to piece your root rib. I call it a root rib, but this is basically to get the dihedral of the wings. And in order to do this, I cheated a bit because uh, I basically used the rib, root rib that I've had from previous planes because they're more or less they're all the same dihedral, sort of. But the way to make it is it's basically you, you measure the length and put three mil on top from the base there to three mil or two mil. This is and this one's two mil. You can get the angle and then you obviously put it up to against the first rib like so and then you white glue it in and then you the way you follow it so, so you've got that there and then I tend to leave that PVA in dry nice and solid and then, the, and then you just basically the next one you do I suppose I should do one quickly so, here's one aren't we? All right, and this is basically what you do is you make sure it's nice it fits which it does so you just get your glue, a bit of PVA in there, a bit in there like so. Right, like so I'm doing one. Get it in line with the plan. Like so. Now if you don't got a good eye for it, I generally use the set square just to keep myself square. And just put a little pin in like so. Just to hold it straight there. Okay, and then just to make it tidy, you take the excess PVA off with water and a brush, like so, throw it back in the pot. And then you leave it and then you follow suit all the way down the wing. Okay, has so for pan over here, as you can see with this one, uh basically this is almost ready to go. These ledger weights are quite handy. You know, it's just to keep it in the pins are always uh, holding it in place. So you can see here how I've how I've worked with that one I've just shown you back. And obviously once they're all dry. Then you PVA in the top spars, which I've done. So the next job on this wing is that like I showed you put these little riblets in at the front. Here as well, you, where you've got, I could tie off now. This is the false rib as it says, so that goes in. But before you do that, I've decided because I'm obviously putting in. I won't let you back in now. All right. These are what I. The wing servos, beautiful piece of equipment this. And you obviously check to see that it's in the right, there's enough room, either one you want to use, if you want to use the centre one, either one doesn't matter, but I'm going to use that one, see, so it fits in nicely. Because obviously you've got to make a plate for the wing server to go in, so there's ample enough room there for that. So that's that's taken care of. Okay, so so that'll be another job to do, which I'll put another video on to show you how to do that. And then the next thing to do is put in the... Uh, the blanking strip strengthening caps along the inside of the uh, wing along the front there and then obviously on that one as well just give it a bit more strength okay and that'll be that for that wing and then you just repeat the whole process for all, all, all four sides of the wings and then when it comes to making the ailerons I'll come to that in another video so I hope that's uh, explanatory enough uh, I think that's about it really not much to do. Like I said, everything's PVA on this plane. I'll decide. Sometimes if I, can't, I run out of patience, I use Sino, but with this one, I'm particularly taking my time with it. And, uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of excess, but that'll just be cut off with the jigsaw. But uh, at this moment in time, I just wanted to make sure there was enough room there to pin it all down so you've got when you're packing it out. Okay? So, obviously, this is the bottom wing. 
and that's why the holes are in the ribs so I can get the wire through for the uh, feeder. Okay, so we're on the leading edge now of the wing. So I have the camera points there. So as you can see, let me see, well, I'll just demonstrate quickly. So you've obviously cut the leading edge to the right size over the tail end of the wing, the wing tip, bit of extra over. And then you line them against the ribs that I've already put in, the little riblets, and then you mark them like so on the, with a pen, and then you can see their lines. And they're ready then for the glue. Okay. And all you do is just line up where you've marked it with the glue. Simple as that. It doesn't matter if it's messy because I'll show you that in a minute. I use PVA on this purely because of the time scale. Brilliant stuff. A bit extra on the end because it's okay. Not my finger, is that? Right, let me line it up. Two plus. Let's do mine now. Now what you're doing is uh, pins, pin away one. So it's nice and tight against it. Put as many pins as you like. Right, so they're in now, and then to clean it up, just to clean up the mess, excess glue. That's nice. Now I can also see where there's the gaps, if need be. And that's that, so that's that bit. That's the leading edge, so leading edge of the wing. Okay. Uh, this is just uh, the centre section of the bottom wing, which is obviously going to be different from the top because these are made to go into each other on the fuse on this model. But I'm making this as one wing, so it just bolts up it straight into the uh, fuse, simply, you know, for speed when you're going on the field. So, what I've started doing is just basically, because it's going to be cut away here and my finger's running, that's going to be cut away because that sits around the fuse. Okay, so I've made, but then obviously, there's the, there's the template. This is where it differs from the plan because it says draw a square through the middle of the rib on both the front and the back and run the, the, the square piece, which you can do, but I prefer to do it this way so that you've got the top part and the bottom part, you know, of the longer runs. Or the spars, even should I say, and that's how I'm going to do this one. And then I'll do it like I do in most planes and fill it out inside to make it stronger. Okay. And then what I've also done is, is this piece here, trailing edge. Uh, I'm going to, like it shows there, I've cut the rib, the rib back to allow for that on the plan, so that I'll be glued on the edge there, and then put little plates in if need be. But I think it'll be strong enough. We'll see. Okay. And then the front piece. The, the leading edge, nice piece of this, and then you, you, you trim back the top off. You measured it to the edge there, so if I can try and get it with one hand, it's really difficult. So it should be right, right there. See, so you got it like that. So that's how I'm going to do this one. Okay, this is a quick video, and then I use a little off cut uh, just to make sure the measurements are all correct on the cutouts. Then just use a sharp blade. Uh, is that you might use it? Surgical scalpel. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Well, then, and I'll generally <coughs> doubt that. I'm getting a video. So. Oh, there, face just, just shake quickly out of me. Just to get the wires. I'm going to put the smart. Service. I'll keep it in a minute. Yeah, my fingers, uh, to put the strengthening bits in between the um, centre wing panels, okay? This is before we put the actual uh, strengthening stabiliser in the middle of the wing. So I'm trying to keep it in the camera. So just, I've marked it where the length is. Okay. So you can see that I've. I've got a right bit here. Yeah, there you go, look, some out of there. So there's your mark. So I'll quickly cut it on the jig. Okay, that's the easy bit. Right. So just check if it fits in between, which it does. Okay, I'm trying to keep it in this bloody camera. And then what I do then is just simply get it into the, line it up with the bottom of the, the top uh, spar. Okay. And just get a pen and run it down the middle like so. And that's just probably simple, but I did say I was going to make this, try and do this video um, like step by step as much as possible and try and remember what I've done <laughs> by looking back on previous videos. So I've not uploaded these yet because I'm trying to get everything else that I've done in the past up on and on. So just to make sure I've done there. So I stay there. Okay, so. Right, so I'm going to check it fits. Keep it in the video. And it fits, which it does, see? See, I'm okay, so it fits. Okay, so it fits in there. Just get a dab of PVA glue. That's a bit much for you. Okay, glue on it. Okay. And just slot it in. Like so. Messy, eh? Bit messy, but it'll be alright. Right. Take off the excess. Okay. Let's just take the excess off now. Now, it doesn't matter if the wood's are slightly bit thicker than the spar, but make sure that you keep it where it fl uh, flush against, and keep it in there, keep it flush against the edge of where you're going to run the actual strengthening stabiliser. Okay, so that's a true. So it doesn't matter about this side because no one's going to be touching that. Okay, you can clamp it if you want. Personally, uh, it would clamp it, it might be easier. Okay, but that's just to show you. So on that one, alright, so let me have it. Okay. Well, once I've got your attention, I'll try and move the camera a bit. Bear with us. Right. right, this is the other one I've made. This is for the bottom wing. Okay. So the thing I've done with this one is, you know, it's the difference is obviously because this plan isn't made for, I'm going to say for a minute, this plan isn't uh, made to do it this way, I'm just doing it my own way. So the, obviously the difference is with this one and that one, right, this is for the top wing, so you leave the rib, the, rib, the um, trailing end of the ribs on that one, because that's for the top wing. But on the bottom one, as you can see I've cut them off, and I might add I keep them as well, keep the spares, keep these, because they'll come in handy for like later on when you're building the wing. Okay. So you cut a few more. So they're they're trimmed off really because they've got to fit up into the fuselage. Okay. So and then obviously I have sanded it for like flush when it's all dry and nice and flush. Okay. So that's all ready to go. Alright then. That's about that for this bit. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Okay then. Lovely. This is a, a touching video to show you roughly how to attach the centre section of the bottom wing to the fuse, uh, making the pins, etc. So this is the first stage. So basically, you get your dowling rod, got this one hand, and you line it up. Obviously, it says it's self-explanatory, really. A bit of dowling, and then you, you centralise it to the middle of the wing rib there, between the two ribs, and then you drill your pilot hole through the back. Okay, so you've got there, and then you. Just trim a bit or sand the file a bit down so it's level that way. Okay. And then 
Why it could PVA it in, I did, and on top, and then a piece of strengthening plate which is made out of thin ply, scrap ply, just cut, a pair of scissors, mark it out, and that just strengthens it from the front. And that way, you got it. Then the same at the back, scrap bolster, roughly the thickness of the rib. So that's where you're going to drill your holes to put the wing bolts through. Okay, and you glue them in nice. Once you've got that in place, you then place it on and you'll see it fits. Oh yeah, and then obviously, I've got that bit as well. <laughs> I've gone a bit ahead of myself on making it yesterday. Again, you work, it's the same process as making all the other formers. You've got your, your wing former there, you know, for the holes. And you work, imagine it, cut it from a bit of ply. Once you've got your ply in, okay, try not to glue it in first, because you want to mark up. You make this bit first, obviously. All right, and then you put that, and you mark it up with the holes, line them up with a pen and then you drill them out to the roughly a bit wider than the pegs slightly and that way when you put it in it should match and it matches just like so see and it's in right so there's a fit okay so at least you know that the wing's going to fit when you put it all together now the next thing is is that again I've left the other side to show you because it's it again look you see, so you've got your piece of scrap ply I think it's five six mil okay and that's nicely seated in there and then what you've got to do is, is you've, obviously you take your side, drill your two part holes for the wing bolts you've got. And once they're pre-drilled, and you put it back on. Okay, there's two ways you can do this. Normally I would, I'd because in the situation we've got now, what I'd do is I'd clamp the sides to hold the, the base plate that's going to hold the, the nuts on, the wing bolt nuts. You can either clamp so it holds it in place, then you could just drill straight through. Or if you do it, you can always just mark, if you haven't got that option, like sometimes, depending on what type of aircraft you're making, you won't have that option to clamp, you know, to clamp the sides here, where my finger and thumb is. So, I tell you, get a thin, a biro, a big biro, tends to do it, if the holes are wide enough, a thin pen, take the, to, take the inner out of the pen, and put it through the holes you've drilled, to mark a, a hole where you're going to drill these, to get your things in. And once you've drilled, I'll come to that next, because... I should you put in these special bolts, nuts even that go in with the grips on, you know, they go in, top hats or whatever. I'll show you how to do that after. Okay, so that's the next bit. Okay, love. Okay, so this bit's to show how to do the, uh, how I am doing the um, tips of the wings. Okay, on the on the original plane, the wing, the the, the actual is con concave, right? Bends to the shape of the wing. It's not a flat plate which I'll come to. So, what I want to do, I've done in other videos, tape around the top of the plan, so you don't ruin the plan when you put the pencil on. Get a piece of carbon paper, get your piece, this is a piece of nice, thin, easy to cut scrap balsa. You slide that under, obviously making the right thickness, you put that under there, you put your temp under there, and just get any marker, pencil, or do anything, because it's going to come out. And when it comes out, okay, it will come out. you have a nice template, yeah. It will come out like this, see, that there, right? And then you've got your template, and you cut it out so you've got your template. And then you've got to do four, so you mark four out on this. Now these are three sheets of bolster glued together, okay? And you need four of these, four sets. Obviously you can get the bend, see what I mean? You can bend it any way you want. And then you cut them out with a scalpel, and then the result is this. See, so you can get the bend the way you want. Because obviously it's got to fit on the end of the wing. And then, well, obviously, you've got to trim it. So what I do now is I'll take the end of the wing, put it offer it up, because then you've got to tra trim it, the tip of the, the tip edge of the wing, <coughs> pardon me, and there, cut it down there. And you keep this piece here for the um, elevator aider on, okay? But I'll show that in the next bit round. Okay, so that's that bit. And obviously, you glue it up. Once you've cut it all, you glue it up into the shape of the... Well, you look on the plan and you'll see the concave shape like that. See? I don't know how it'll be. Okay. Okay, well, well this is a video to show how I put the uh, edge of the wing tips on. Okay, that's a previous video I pre-cut out. And as you can see, there's a line there. All you do is you just use the thickness of the wing tip, like so. And you get your pen, draw down it, okay, on that edge. And obviously, the same on the top, the leading edge, okay, of the wing, which I've already cut out. And then you run your blade down it nicely like so. Just track it first time and then cut deeper because then your blade allows the blade to follow the wood. And then you pack it out like so. 
Okay, and then you offer it up to just test it to make sure it's okay. Here's one I made it. Oh, that's nice. So you get it in line with the leading edge there, okay, because it can be sanded down. Right, now as you can see, because it's got a curve, a concave, so you hold it in your finger in position like so. Get your marker pen, I'll try and get it up here so you can see on the camera. And you give yourself, mark the line where you're going to put the super glue. Okay, so you've got your line there, and then you mark on there, and then mark it. Just roughly do this, this is where you're putting your PVA. I'll oh, see in a minute, it's not exactly got it somewhere. Right, let me check it out. So you've now got your position where you're pva in these sides. Okay, they're PVA'd, and this is going to be super glued. So the first thing you do is PVA. Quickly dab a bit of that on. Right, me super blue. So obviously I need super glue up to the mark with the um, stings and slide it in so it's not touching the glue right so in you go. Okay. Right. And then you use your, your line you made on the rib as a guide, slide it in, make sure it's in the right position and keep it tight. That's fine. Okay, now that's in there. Now what we do is I've got clumps, just clump the edges down like so. One. Okay, nearly there. Okay. And then just take off the excess glue like so. This is quite important because the next bit is almost there. It's just to clean up a bit. That's in there. That's in there. This side especially. Right. And then you leave it, because this is 10 minute PVA, which is brilliant. Okay, that's it. Alright, so you see, and now it's, it's, it's in. Okay, that's it, set in its position. So, no, I don't. Here's one I made earlier, so we'll leave that to set. Then what you do is, this is one I've made earlier. Right, what I tend to do is because there's four of them, I've marked a little X on there. Any any shape you like, just so you make sure you've got the right the right piece off the uh, the tip of the wing. It goes to form the aim aim aileron. Okay, so that's one made. So that obviously then you've got to put these in, which is just bits of scrap bolster. And then what you do with that is you measure it. You put it in. You measure it from point to point. So you've got you put a square 40, 90 degrees. You see that there now. You mark it there, and you mark it there. Draw a line with a ruler. Common sense. So it's, we're just, it's awkward, isn't it? Right. So you mark it there, and you mark it there. See that? So you've got your mark. For, that's the width for that. And you just draw it down there. And you just cut it with a blade, and you super glue it in on the top, in line with the stop rod and then that one there now so then obviously this is all glued up nice uh, they're pva uh, super glued in and then obviously you then come to making the um, aileron which will be another uh, video but I'll keep this bit because that's going to be part of the actual aileron itself when you put in the trailing edge and stuff like that okay now we're going to fit the servo plates okay so because this wing is so thin you've got to use wing servos which i'll come to in a sec so you basically, and it's so thin, I'm using ply, so a nice piece of thin ply, in the grain, so it's on the side it's bendy again to go with the, the shape of the ribs, okay? And you just basically draw around it with your marker pin, all right, ply, and then it's ply, you just cut it out on a jigsaw or a little saw, okay? And once you've done that, you've got that, it'll come out with that shape, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. And then you... Offer it up to the wing. So we've got up the wing, I'm explaining this. 
Okay, right, and you get it into the wing, it's a nice fit. Okay, so you've got it in there and you've got it into the reasonable position you want it. Okay, now this is the wing so I know, a beautiful piece of craftsmanship there. Nice wing, I think these retail at about £30 a piece. Um, I got this from Steve Webb Models, it's brilliant. So these are going. Now what you do is, is that before you put the, the, the horn on, uh, you line it up to where you want it on the, the servo, where you want it on the plate. Okay, and there's it, so it fits there nicely. You've got to get it as flush with the top, you don't want it sticking off the top of the wing, which will come in a minute, which just happens just to be the right width, which is nice. And then you mark out here, you mark out with a pen, you mark out here and here, roughly idea so you've got room for the horn to travel or the arm on the, the servo whatever they call it okay once you've got that done okay first one on the servo you put that on you put it, plug it all into your, your box and that and you make sure it's lined up through then you get this you take it out take it out and then i use a dremel just bore a hole you dremel it to the length you've cut it there's more than enough room okay take your time and then obviously I've just shown you, you put it back in, it's a case of in and out, in and out, shake it all about, you know, even into your telly, look, and, uh, it's a, it's a. and then we've got it in like say, see, alright, so it's nice like that, so, and then, without going through too much, this is the X-Pen here, I know it looks messy there, but it'll be all covered, so it won't matter, so you then fix it in, you fix your plate in with these, okay, alright, and then once you've got the plates in, I've used these in there because they're just the right width. They're a scrap, bit of scrap like beach. And you super glue them in nice and you screw them in like so to get that nice feel. And once you've got it all plate, you put the back ones in and then to get it married up to the edge there, you can sand that, it's not a problem. And it's in plates in. All right, and then you put your screws in there and there. So when you need to take, if a case of servo breaks, you take the plates out. Mm. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Any comments underneath, then uh, please feel free to do that. Okay. Oh, that's that. On the, so the next, on with the next thing. And which you're obviously now we're concentrating the wingtips. Okay. Lovely. Martin. So I'll just show you. As you can see, there's the wings are glued now, both sides. So what I normally do is wipe PVA in there. Okay. And you do one wing at a time onto the middle bit. And then, yeah, then vice versa, make sure you've got the dihedral even. And then repeat the same on this wing. So there you have it. So the next stage will be putting the strengthening spar bits in there. Front and back on both wings. And that'll be lovely. And usually you go up to the second rib out. And then sheet it. And that should be lovely. Okay. It's starting to take shape now. This is quite good. Okay, this is the bit where I'm making the, um, I'm trying to keep it in the camera, the brackets for the, uh, the struts for the wings. Uh, so what I've done these, I've reinforced, as you can probably see it in there, I've reinforced that here because it's so thin the strut, the, the actual spars. So I've put a block inside and reinforced it there and obviously on the other side to allow for the drilling the hole through for the bolts, okay? There, so I hope you can see that. And I've done that on all four wings. And then this is a piece of soft alley and a, and a pair of cutters. These are actually garden snips, which are quite handy. You just cut the strips out of this, like I've done. And then here's one I made earlier. You make your first one, you cut your strips roughly. I mean, it's a piece of scrap, okay? So, and you basically, you just, I'll do it roughly now, just do it. Give it a little hole. So I'm just doing it roughly. You get it in the center. And we'll see you find the right bolt. And then you line it up with the pliers, 45 degree. And obviously you want to keep them even so you just get a, a marker. And just pretend it's on. And you mark it there with your pen. All right. Redrill it and then just cut it to length of that side with the same snips. And then you've got your, your part there. And that obviously fits in the wings. And you need eight of those uh, for the struts. And plus, I might add as well, I've also got it. These are long, long bolts because on the bottom wing, you've got the skids. And I'll come to that in another video how I make them. Um, I'll basically try and pull it over now if I can. So bear with us. 
to take this off and get air sick. What I mean is, if you can see there, uh, them there, see there the wheel skids, they've got to go. So that's why it, the bolts are longer. So this is a piece of tubing, which I'll explain in another video. Uh, I made that, you know, and they go on, they have uh, epoxy resin done to the bolts. So they don't move, you know what I mean? That looks good. But well, that's another video. Okay, so I hope that helps. So uh, just go around. So just a quick recap. You need eight of these, preferably the right length bolts as well, like to do the job. And Ace Presto. And then the wing, and I've got it come free. The wing is, you know, so you see you can get the holes in nice on all four. Okay, and that's that. There might be others on the because of the rigging, there might be other plates, but I'll come to that because I have to look at the picture and the Shuttleworth collection is still closed at the moment, so due to COVID, so I'll have to um, sort that when it comes. Okay, go down and have a look. All right then, bye. Those